Hey everyone, it's Aaron Flutter here, and today's video I have for you is a desk tour video which was highly suggested during my annual spreads video, so I'm going to go ahead and show you just kind of a cameo going through all of the items on my desk. I have links to all that stuff down below. It's not affiliated links. All these things are just things that I use, um, so I'm not getting any feedback or royalties or affiliate links or any other money sponsorships or anything from these items so I'll have everything linked below for you in uh, tiny URLs so that you can go check out these items that I use um, another announcement I'm going to start doing Q&A videos once a month so in my stories I'll have a Q&A poll where you guys can ask me questions that may not necessarily need a full video but I will be having the video posted on here on YouTube once a month. So that's going to be towards the end of the month and I will keep you updated on my Instagram at Erin Designs. So without further ado, here is my desk tour video. And so now that that intro is over, I'm going to show you what my desk looks like clean. Although I'll have some uh, sneak peeks of what it looks like when it's not clean uh, in the end of the video. Full disclosure. But this is um, fairly clean, so I'm going to just start from left to right and then show you my desk. So the first part of my desk, so from left to right, I'm going to start on the top and then go down. <laughs> so I have just a bunch of pens. These are pens that I use sparingly or they're new pens that I've gotten. Uh, none of this stuff is sponsored, by the way. I got these tins from Target Dollar Spot. They have these types of tins there a lot. I think I got them last year. And then I got these pens, uh, the Muji style and the mild liners. I got those from Notebook Therapy. I'll try to link most of the stuff below that I have. This is my Scribbles That Matter uh, A5 journal, which I'm currently using, as you guys probably know. This is the pen case that I'm currently using, again, from Notebook Therapy. Uh, and they sent this to me free of charge and you can see that haul video uh, I'll link that below and then these are some of the current pens that I'm using for this Super Mario Brothers and these as well for my Super Mario Brothers so these are the ones that I'll just take with me on the go for that particular week and then if I just want to grab a different type of pen for something else in the setup then I'll grab from here. So I always leave these kind of stashed to the side. I have uh, my Tombow products, my Tombow monograph pen, pencil, sorry, and then my uh, hybrid correction tape whiteout. And then this is from Home Goods. Uh, you can find them most places. I think you can find them TJ Maxx, stuff like that. Uh, but this actually said December 31st before today. So <laughs> I um, obviously only am using it for the aesthetic. I got this from Jet Pens. I love these metallic paints. These are so good. They're from Kuratake. You can find them on Amazon and stuff too, but I love these paints. Um, if you ever want a nice gold slash white gold uh, palette, this is a great one to use. Undo is what I use to remove stickers for my wellness journal. If you guys want to see more, I have been given you really an update lately about my wellness journal. So if you guys want to see that kind of update, please let me know in the comments below. Um, I also have a Simply Gilded. This is from the last one. It's still in the wrapping. Which, by the way, I'll be giving you more information about a giveaway at the end of this video. This calendar, again, before this, it actually said February, but I got that from Minted. I got that along with my invitation suite order for my wedding. So it came with that cool little block, and then there's a lot of different kinds of colors here and styles for the papers. So I put that up. This is from The Greater Good, I Can't People Today. She doesn't always have it in stock, so I grabbed it as fast as I could when it did come back into stock again. But I love her, I love her shop. Um, she's a great letter. I'll link her Instagram channel below. Uh, this holds some 
washi tape that I use for my wedding bullet journal. This again is from Tombow. It's just an eraser. This is a little seal that my fiance got me. And then I have some tabs from Notebook Therapy. I have some Moxie Dory Circle Maker. This is from Ferris Wheel Press. If you haven't seen in my stories at the beginning and the end of the month, I'll show you the next one. And it's really cool because the calendar actually goes together. It's like one big story like this. They kind of all go together. So by the end of 2019, I'll have three across and four down and it'll look really, really cool. So I color it towards the end of the month. So I can't wait to color this one in as well. And it kind of also goes with my theme and my bullet journal. Uh, these were the colors for my theme in January. I added some red in there for my heartbeat theme. And this month I'll add some green and blues in there as well. Because you start to see the spring elements. So those are really cool. Uh, lots of these stickers are from Michael's from Once More With Love. Uh, this little kit uh, binder thing is from Scribble Prints Co. So there's a lot of different kinds of stickers. For example, this is from Simply Gilded and this is part of what I'm using for the weekly for my wellness kit. So I'll keep that one out. I'm also using uh, this one from Wonton in, the Million for, Wonton in a Million for this week. I have my two different rulers up here and then if I go inside I have some more washi tapes my eco lime watercolors this is something that you guys love and I'll link this below it's a little ladybug vacuum and then this is the best white watercolor you will ever find this is the best one that I've ever had so make sure if you want to use white on any sort of painting this is going to be the best one and then I just have some more washi tapes some more journals some more um, notepads and things like that over here on this side and then I have my washi wall I have my simply gilded I'll try to link all of these different types of containers below they're all from Amazon so I have my simply gilded sorry ones And then I have these that I've mostly gotten from Michaels and Amazon. So I haven't used all of these. Um, I have used most of them though, to be fair to myself. So there's lots of different kinds. These are from Wonton and a Million. So those are the Harry Potter releases that she had. And then these are just like my random knickknack drawers. It has some Tombow adhesive. It has stuff for um, the rewards for different shops. This is my melting spoon for wax seals. Just some business cards, wax seal stuff, uh, more correction tape, and um, permanent adhesive from Tombow. And then you guys have seen this before. These are kind of my more used slash metallics. So these are the pens that I use for my annuals. This is my slice cutter. Again, I'll link this below. This is how I cut my washi tape a lot of times. Um, I have my good old Crayola markers. These are my uh, little squeaks. What are these called? Pip squeaks. And then I also have some of the regular Crayolas. I have a whole bunch more um, on my other side of the setup in my office. So one day maybe I'll show you that side as well. If you guys are interested, let me know in the comments below. And then I have uh, my super tips here. Again, I have more elsewhere, but those are the ones that are kind of my go-tos. And then I have some fine liners and some brush pens over here. Muji is my favorite. Uh, fine liner right now. It's a gel pen versus a uh, felt tip type pen. Those I usually use the microns or I'll use the Tombow uh, 
um, mono drawing pens. Then I have some Kelly Creates here, some Artline Sticks, some more metallics down here, the new Tombow Colors. There, or no, these are the Sharpie pens. The Tombow Colors are up here. <laughs> Uh, these are the new uh, Feud Tombow colors, which I think they are selling those on their website now. Uh, the Sharpie brush pens as well. Those are smaller. Um, and then I have these from Muji. These are water brush pens. They're, it's called a Pentel Aquash. Uh, these are so great for watercoloring and for lettering with watercolors. I... 100% support this. So if you guys are ever interested in lettering with watercolors, the Pentel Aquash will do it for you. And then I have a couple different flaggy page flags from Muji. And these are both my cat ones. So I keep those separate from my other types of page flags because we both know that I like cats a lot. And then my Pentel sign pens as well. And then moving up, you guys all know my Tombos. <laughs> and then these are different kinds of sticky pads that I've gotten from Scribble Prints Co., from Once More With Love, things like that. So that is that. And then uh, body lotion from Bath & Body Works, just in case. And then this Ot Light gives me some extra lighting, which it uses a white light instead of a yellow light. So that's pretty good for filming and it it was fine for a while, but I felt like I needed a little bit more, so I'll show you that in a little bit. Down here I have my wellness journal, journals that I haven't used yet. So this is from Scribble, uh, Scribbles That Matter, and then this one is from Dingbats. And then I have a whole host of ones that I have used. So these are all my old Scribbles That Matter. This one is a new one, and then this one is my wedding bullet journal. And this one is my little A6, and then some scrap paper, and then watercolor paper from Canson, and some marker paper from Canson. So again, I'll try to link all that stuff below. And then these are where I keep my stickers. So if I'm selling you stickers from my shop, I usually print them two at a time. And so any extras that I have from my orders, I stick in here. I try to keep some on stock all the time. And then these are sticker kits that I use for my wellness. This is a present that my sister-in-law got me. It is a uh, fountain type pen from the Wizarding World of Harry Potter that I posted in my stories. And then this box is just some envelopes that are craft paper. And then in the back there is just some storage and some seal for uh, acrylic paintings that I do. And then I have some stuff here on the side as well. Um, stuff that has fallen from my wall and then some uh, canvas paintings. Most of my canvas stuff is kept on the other side of my setup. So again, if you wanna see that kind of video, I will show you that too, but it is not clean over there right now. And I spent a long time cleaning this. So I'm definitely gonna show you this side. Then I have my Instagram sex <laughs> and a little star. This is where I'll keep some of the um, lighting equipment that I use, although that is in a separate spot right now, just so that I can show you what's going on. So I'll keep some of the lighting stuff here. And then down here is just some journaling cards that I've gotten from orders. Um, the black paper that I used for my November that was from Canson some watercolor paper, uh, my command stickers that I use to hang this uh, strip. It's just command strips behind a regular charging cable. And then some oops stickers. So I'll send these out occasionally with some orders or I'll make like little oops bags. Uh, I don't usually have too many so I usually like to send them out with orders if I ever have some screw-ups. So that is my whole desk setup right now. Um, and here is just some random inks like my invisible ink from Noodlers. This is 
me and my fiance from college. This is my kids have paws, which they do because if you look behind me right now, cameo appearance to part of the <laughs> apartment that is not clean are my cats and they're very cute. Uh, I got this in a giveaway. I'll link her Instagram below. And then this is an order that I got during the beginning of the year from Once More With Love. So I put my three messages with my word of the year for that. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what it looks like with my lighting setup. Bam. So that was really cool. So I have these white light setups with this soft light cover that goes over it and I got I opted to get the ones that are on the stands that go on your desk but you can also get ones that have larger stands they were a little bit more expensive but not by much so I got these and so I'll have lights on either side to try to keep any shadows from not occurring and then I have my light up here that will also be on during that time and then I'll put my phone up here on the, the clip so that I can record my videos. So that is how I do the magic. So while I was filming this whole situation, I found a lot of things that I have not opened um, that I'm just never going to use. So I decided that I'm going to do a random stuff giveaway. So if you want to participate in the random stuff giveaway, I'll have a link for the Rockful Copter below in the comments or in the description below and you guys can enter for that. It's going to be 18 years or older, uh, US only for this particular giveaway and I'm going to choose five different giveaway winners because there is so much stuff that I have not touched. So if you want to sign up for that, like I said in the description below, US only, 18 or older. So thank you guys for supporting my channel. Um, I do international giveaways every once in a while, so make sure you stay tuned for the next international giveaway. I just did one, so I felt like it was okay to do a US only. So thank you guys for supporting me, and I hope you guys like my desk setup, and I will see you for another video on Monday. Bye, everyone.